this is a short video on uh, Data Pioneer's Media Wiki. Uh, opening it up, getting into it, and maintaining it. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open up my uh, uh, virtual machine, virtual box, and I've got the Media Wiki here. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. So let's go ahead and start it up, and it's going to come up. It's uh, running in Debian uh, 9, but it's a bit nami. Media Wiki, and so it's going to load up, and uh, eventually it's going to come to a screen where it shows me that I have a, an IP address assigned to it, 192.168.1.171, and then I'll log in to the interface, the console, using Bitnami as the login name, and then my password that I've reset. And so now I'm logged into the console. Let me go and close this interface. Go ahead and close this as well, and then get into the web. I'm on my Brave web browser, and I'll go ahead and get into HTTPS uh, 192.168.1.171, and here I am. So I'm on the main page of the wiki, but I'm not logged in. And so let me go ahead. See, this is not logged in. So I'm going to go ahead and log into it. And so I'm going to put in my data pioneer, which is something I put in. It's not out of the box. And then the password that I gave it. And then uh, click on keep me logged in and click the login button. So now I'm logged into the main page of the wiki. It's installed. Uh, it says data pioneers wiki, and I did that through the config. Uh, all right, so now I've got my purpose for document management, and there's a link, and here's the page that I created in the Media Wiki. If you edit that page, you'll see here what I did to to create the page. It's what it looks like when it's created. All right, so it's a combination of uh, HTML and Wiki text, and uh, later I'll install a video editor that will allow me to not have to do that. All right, so let's go back to the main page. If I click on the logo, it takes me to the main page. And then there's another section I have got here called Documents List. If I click Edit, it shows you how I set that up and how I set the link up. All right, so let's go back to the main page again. All right, and so here's the, the Documents List page itself. And um, now back to the main page again. And if I come up and uh, click Data Pioneer or Talk, rather for data pioneer I can set up a page here as well I haven't done that yet uh, so that's for like a talking page for the media wiki it's going to be a media wiki is going to be something I use alone so it's not going to be collaborative so it's not going to be as big a deal so I'll click the main page again and um, I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, another page and so I click discussion here is the uh, form that I created that allows me to create a page very quickly so I replace the article title with the title of the page that I want to create. So I'm going to call it FAQs. Click the Create New Article button, and it opens up this new article window, editing window. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in some information for the FAQs here, this generic information. And then uh, come down. I've got the Watch This Page checked. So this is going to be, this is where the new or this is where I would list the FAQs on the site rather and then I'm going to go ahead and save the page alright so hit the main and there uh, it's not showing up though on the main page yet and the reason for that is is I haven't put a link out here so I'm going to go back up to the search and search for that page I just created and uh, when I find it I'm going to uh, copy the uh, URL for that page. All right, then I'm going to go back to the main page again and uh, and then I'll place it out on the main page through the edit process. So I'm on the main page, edit, I'm going to come down below the last section that I've added. I'm going to add that FAQ section and there's a way that you have to do that which is what I'm showing you here and uh, underneath there's also a method for putting in a hyperlink which is different from what you normally would see in any other uh, you know like HTML page 
So you put in that you paste in the information from the link, put a colon, and then put the title of that section, and then put that in encapsulate that in brackets. Okay, and then save it. All right, and so come down, and I'll, I'm going to add a summary though before I do that. So between the forward slash and the asterisk, or not, you know, asterisk, I can't type today. Here we go. I'm going to put in uh, added FAQs section, put a star forward slash, and then save changes. So now we've got an FAQ section down below it. Notice we have contents up above. And, um, and now if I click on that link, there's my FAQs page, and then I can add to that page as well. I like the fact that I've got the contents with the links up above there, though. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and log out. And then I'm going to go into the console and shut that console down. I just issue a command in the terminal there for Debian based. And so that will shut the terminal down, or the console down rather, for Debian, for the wiki, media wiki. And then once that's closed, uh, I can go ahead and close this page and um, close the virtual box, and we're done.